I've been a programmer for a while, for about 10 years, but I've always, I've almost always worked in artistic contexts. I worked in, a, in museums for a while, and then I, when I moved to Bogota, I started working with a lot of dance performances. And I never really considered myself an artist, but I did um, kind of fit into other people's creative visions. And, and that, and I realized more and more the way that I work with code and create software became more and more of a creative thing. Hydra is based on analog video synthesis. Um, and one of the things that I've been interested in learning more about analog video synthesis is video feedback, which is just pointing a camera at at the screen, its, out, its own output screen, which creates this sort of infinite loop. Um, and then if, if you have something between the camera and the screen, you can also start to get this sort of echo effects. That sort of feedback loop creates this dynamic system where any tiny change can create either um, kind of a stable thing or something chaotic. Um, um, and so I'm, I'm pretty inspired by this concept of, of feedback and it definitely fits in a lot of different aspects of what I've been working on. And so you can try changing numbers, try changing the order to see what happens. Um, oh, that's kind of nice. A lot of what I'm interested in is sort of this relationship that I have with my computer that's not just a relationship of me telling the computer what to do, if that makes sense, because I do feel like I kind of try something out and then there's all these things go happening in the computer even though I've written every bit of the code that makes up Hydra so I know technically what it's doing but there's still so many variables of a camera and and different so many buffers feeding back into each other that it can create this this sense of of a little bit of uncertainty but there I can see my face repeating infinitely. I'm often kind of at the border of losing control of what the computer's doing and being in control of what the computer's doing. And so I think in a really ongoing way, I like to play with that in, in what I'm doing both on my own and live. And it's something I've realized is a big part of my creative process because I think often with coding, you're supposed to know ahead of time what you're doing and give these defined instructions to the computer and then have a precise outcome. And the types of algorithms I like to explore tend to be non-linear and dynamic. And so it's, it feels more like I try something with the computer, something happens, I try something else. Um, and then it's this kind of ongoing process that's almost unraveling, but not quite. When I first started making Hydra, I did it, never thought I would perform with it. As I put it online and people started using it and more opportunities came up to, to, people started asking me to perform. And I've had the opportunity this year to collaborate with a variety of musicians. It pushed me a little, I think, I thought a little bit more about rhythm in the ways that I was creating visuals than I had before because stuff I've been doing up until now has been more really abstract music. Um. Something that happens a lot in, in electronic music is you see someone with a computer and maybe they're doing something with the computer but it's hard to actually know what they're doing and so Showing the code that I'm writing to the audience to me just feels really honest in that process of like, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing in front of you. I think we've had the tendency to make everything as binary and defined as possible when really at some level a binary computer is just it's, it's ones and zeros, but those ones and zeros are just voltages that are never exactly ones or zeros. So there's all these kind of uncertain processes that we make um, be really certain in order to engage with them in a certain way. But actually the deeper I kind of go into lower level processes of the computer, the more I'm interested in, in sort of bringing out that uncertainty. And so to me, it's just this ongoing exploration.